In today's video, we're going to dive into a fresh lineup of Blender add-ons designed to speed up your workflow and make your life basically easier. From better UI organization to faster retopology, smarter materials and smoother animations. To kick things off, we're going to start with physical weather effects by Lazy 3D. This add-on lets you add weather effects like rain, snow, fog and wind without spending a ton of time setting things up. It is basically useful for making environments feel a bit more natural when working on animations or even still renders or when you are just experimenting with different moods. It actually comes with presets for different weather conditions like storms, snowfall or those cold misty mornings. So generally speaking, you won't have to start from scratch. And of course, if you need more control, you can tweak everything from particle size, wind strength, and precipitation density to materials reactions to the weather. For example, increasing the rain makes surfaces look wetter. And if you drop the temperature low enough, rain transitions to snow automatically, which is just incredible. Along the way, you're gonna start seeing materials adjusting along with it. The add-on also includes a procedural sky and lighting system, so clouds, fog and lighting adapt based on the weather you set. And setting things up is really easy. Just select your object, press a button and it applies everything. Of course, it might not give you the output that you're looking for, but you can always tweak it as well. So if you need a quick and customizable weather effect or a bunch of effects without over compromising or complicating your scene, you might want to consider this add-on, or at least try the free version. Next we have Simple Layouts, which is all about keeping your workflow clean and efficient. So if you're like me, and you find yourself constantly switching between different object states, visibility settings, or camera angles, this add-on makes things a whole lot easier. Instead of manually tweaking your scene every time, I mean every time you test a new design or animation shot, object placement or anything else really, this add-on lets you save those snapshots of your scene and switch between them super easily. And the best part is that each layout remembers object transforms, visibility toggles and even custom 3D views. So you can jump between different setups without losing track of anything. It also comes with handy overlays like boundary boxes and dash lines to help visualize store transforms and pending changes, making it easier to keep things organized. This is especially useful for artists who need to test multiple iterations, I mean iterations of a model or animators who like to play around with different shots. So instead of juggling multiple files or layers, consider getting this add-on for an affordable price on the Blender market right now. Now that we talked about scene organization, let's move over to interface organization with NPanel Subtabs 2.0, which is a huge update that cleans up Blender's cluttered sidebar, especially if you are an avid Blender add-ons user, which means you have lots of add-ons installed. You see, switching between tabs is much faster because you can group similar ones like rigging tools in one category and material editors in another category making the end panel way less cluttered. And with this update, you can even enable multiple tabs all at once by holding shift, so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth between add-ons. Also, this version introduced multiple settings per workspace. Whether you are modeling, texturing, or animating, you can now create different panel setups for each workflow and even set them to switch automatically when you change workspaces. On top of that, you can hide tabs that don't belong to any category and bulk create categories and quickly assign tabs in one go. Still with interesting updates, we have a great update for an add-on called Polymating. With Polymating 1.1, handling complex models is now hopefully much easier since you can use entire groups of objects as reference points. This is especially useful when working with models made up of multiple parts removing the hassle of setting up each object individually. Some older methods like force project nearest and on hit limit have been phased out, while on hit and multi hit have been merged into a single more accurate raycast method. Alongside that, a new reference switch lets you toggle between using a single object or a collection for a project. An adjustable ray length give you finer control 
over how projections behave. Version 1.2 built on these improvements, introducing better caching for locked vertices, in addition to fixing runtime bugs and enhancing projection stability. Jittery projection and inefficient caching have been smoothed out as well, making everything feel more responsive. Now, let's talk about another new add-on called Proterials. You see, a clean mesh is great, but without the right materials, it won't stand out. And that's where Proterials comes in, offering a large collection of procedural materials that are both lightweight and crazy customizable. Instead of dealing with heavy texture maps that eat up memory and introduce styling issues, this add-on, from what I can see, delivers fully procedural shaders that are easy to tweak. You can adjust everything from color, roughness, pattern density, and even material imperfection. That is, without relying on any external textures. The library also covers a wide range of materials, from brushed metals and glossy plastics, even eco-friendly materials. An interesting thing that you can notice is the real principled which is an enhanced version of Blender's principled BSDF shader. And it adds quick controls. The add-on also adds quick controls for caustics, dispersion, and subtle imperfections, making materials feel more natural with little to no effort. And with a drag and drop simplicity using Blender's asset browser, the add-on makes materials application really easy. Another new add-on we're gonna talk about is called Figaro. You see, a great model starts with good foundation, and that's exactly what this add-on helps you with. If blocking out shapes from scratch slows you down, this add-on actually speeds up the process with a stick figure-like modeling approach. So, instead of wrestling with primitives, you can define shapes using points, edges, and faces, and Figaro interpolates them into smooth and organic forms. One of its best features is a one-click voxelization, which instantly converts your blackout into a sculptable mesh. At the same time, it does not require any additional setup. Just adjust the voxel size, adaptivity, and shading in the side panel and jump straight into sculpting. Also, this add-on covers other handy tools like vertex splitting for sharp edges and quick display options to fine-tune the visibility. And this add-on easily integrates with Blender's modifier system which means you can add symmetry, subdivision, and deformation modifiers on top. So if you are interested in this add-on, I think it's gonna be a good investment. The next add-on we're gonna talk about is called Clean Mesh. Generally speaking, even the best modeling tools can leave behind messy topology, and that's where Clean Mesh comes in. The add-on automates mesh cleanup, in addition to removing unnecessary vertices, edges, and faces, while keeping your model structure intact. So whether you are working on characters, environments, or hard surfaces, the add-on, I think, is gonna be useful whenever you are working with 3D meshes. One of its most useful features is automatic normal correction. So if your shading looks weird or the lighting isn't behaving correctly, inverse normals are often the reason. And Clean Mesh is here to fix that and it can do that instantly. And beyond fixing normals, it also optimizes geometry to improve performance and reduce render times which is a lifesaver when working with complex scenes with lots of meshes. And the best part, it has no complicated menus or confusing settings. When it comes to rigging and animation, we have Autorig Pro Easy Animations. It is actually built as an extension of the add-on, I mean the popular add-on called Autorig Pro. This add-on actually comes with a library of high-quality animations that you can apply to your characters whether they are humanoids, creatures, or stylized rigs. The retargeting system ensures that animations adapt to different character proportions, avoiding broken movement or awkward poses. You can actually bend, tweak, or refine any animation to match your scene greatly. In the same vein, when making animations, sometimes one of the most complicated problems you will face is gonna be with cloth. That's why we're gonna talk about an add-on called Librix Cloth which offers fast and smooth and more intuitive ways to handle cloth simulation inside Blender. So, if you've ever been frustrated with slow baking times or stiff and realistic fabrics, this add-on, I think, is gonna make things a whole lot better. Because unlike vanilla Blender, 
The arrow gives you real-time feedback as you adjust the folds, drapings and collisions so you will no longer wait around for endless baking times. Just tweak some settings and see results instantly. And what makes it even better is its adaptive resolution, which means you got high detail where you need it without bogging down performance. And what I really like about the add-on is that it offers a good amount of customizability, enable you to fine-tune stretch, bend, and collision properties to get exactly what you want. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about a new add-on called Bar Leaf Sculpt, which is a Blender add-on that turns 2D images into detailed bar relief sculptures in just a few seconds. So, for example, when making CNC designs, prepping for 3D printing, or adding relief to your projects, this tool can do some hard work for you. So, just import an image, adjust the depth and detail, and let it handle the rest. Generally speaking, it is quick, easy, and great for artists, designers, and makers who want some solid results without spending hours sculpting by hand. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.